I think the great thing with SageGP is the class keeps evolving. Here we are, T-Foil is the uh, first event in Oakland. The T-Foil is a lot more efficient in the water. We went from carbon to titanium, so that means we can go for a thinner uh, yeah, cord and, and shape. We can cavitate later, so we can push the speeds higher than 100 km per hour. Seven, eight. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. I believe the Canadians will have a slight advantage from doing more testing, but uh, to be honest, from looking at the data, there hasn't been a huge gap uh, between them and the other teams. We've seen out here in the last couple of days in Auckland that we're able to push them really downrange and still put a really good product on the water. The boat feels very different from the L foils to the T foils. The first couple of minutes were very strange. Somehow the boat feels bigger, and you really feel the power in the boat. It accelerates much quicker. Oh, just angle back, come on, come on, come on, look at your way. And the maneuvers are very different. So you can see all the teams are trying different things at the moment. It's really interesting to look at the data overnight. We have an added feature in them now with the adjustable cant. So we can basically adjust how far under the boat the dagger board is or how far outboard it is. As you can see here, uh, we've got a ram, an hydraulic ram, that this is how we move the, the board in and out. And we've got another one to move the board back and forth. And then we've got also the, the board up and down. So here I have two foot pedals. One is for dagger board down and the other one for dagger board up. Simply have to touch this one time and the board will start dropping. It's amazing what a little wind will do on these F50s. So it's one parameter in addition that makes the boat a uh, bit more complex to sail. I think it's not harder, but it just adds uh, variability. And I think the boat has more control, but you'll see more differences in modes uh, between the team. We immediately saw this as an opportunity because all the teams will have the same amount of time on the T-foils. It'll level the playing field while we're all in the learning stages, but there's still plenty of room for variability in it that's going to make for entertaining racing.